more interesting plot, more beautiful graphics, more unique ideas. Have you noticed how many great anime have been released in 2022? In this video, I'm going to show you the most popular anime titles of the last year, which are often mentioned on portals and among fans. From brand new series to the highly anticipated next seasons of fan favorite franchises, this list is sure to have something for everyone. Hello everyone, and welcome to my Shadow Tavern. Today I have 20 best anime series of 2022 that every anime fan should know, but I don't want to just give you my list and call it a day. I want to hear from you my viewers. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts on my choices. Have a suggestion for a title that didn't make my list? Let me know in the comments and I'll consider it for my next video. So without further ado, let's dive into the best anime of 2022. Demon Slayer, highly anticipated second season, the Entertainment District arc has been a huge success among anime fans worldwide. The season began in December 2021 and continued into the winter of 2022, making it eligible for this list. In this arc, Tanjiro and his friends, Inosuke and Zenitsu, join Sound Hashira Uzui on an undercover mission to uncover a demon hiding in the Entertainment District. With more subterfuge and disguises than usual, the season is packed with thrilling action and an epic final battle against two powerful demons. The animation is as beautiful as ever, with emotional scenes exploring the bond between Tanjiro, Nezuko, and the two demons. With this latest installment, Demon Slayer has solidified its place as one of the best anime series of all time. The Girl from the Other Side is a captivating gothic fantasy created by Nagabe. Although it was first published in 2015, it gained worldwide recognition in 2017 due to its unique story and exceptional artwork. The series follows the journey of a beast who takes care of a lost human girl until he can safely return her to her home. Recently, a beautifully hand-drawn feature-length film adaptation of the series has been re-edited into a three-episode arc for streaming. The haunting fairy tale is characterized by a gripping plot, complex characters, and a dark, suffocating atmosphere that leaves a lasting impression on its viewers. While the first volume of the series may seem a bit light on content and plot, it's important to note that there are currently nine volumes in the series, with the potential for more in the future. Fans of dark fantasy and gothic storytelling are sure to enjoy the girl from the other side's unique take on the genre. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean, the fifth season of Hirohiko Araki's beloved manga series, was one of the most anticipated anime of 2022 for fans around the world. The season debuted with 12 episodes on Netflix in January, with an additional 12 episodes airing in the fall. The series centers on Jolene Kujo, the daughter of Yotaro Kujo, the protagonist of Stardust Crusaders. Set in Florida, the show follows Jolene and her companions as they hunt down Pucci, a powerful villain who always seems to be one step ahead of them. While part two was considered pretty good, part 3 is considered a significant improvement in almost every way. The characters shine in this arc, and the brilliance of the anime lies in their development. The final episodes of the season showcase every major player in the story, culminating in tragedy, heartbreak, and moments of brief triumph. Attack on Titan has been one of the most talked about anime in recent years, and its final season has been highly anticipated by fans. The first part of the final season received mixed reviews, with some fans criticizing the pacing and changes. However, it has been praised for its intense and emotional storytelling, especially as it leads up to the series' final conclusion. The transformation of Eren into a dark, cruel, complex, and morally ambiguous character was a highlight of the season, and the rest of the cast also received development and exploration of their own motivations and loyalties. The season's animation and direction have been highly praised, with some standout episodes featuring stunning and emotional visuals. Despite criticism of the manga's ending, the anime adaptation has been praised for its ability to bring the story to life in a powerful and effective way. The final episodes of the season are highly anticipated by fans who are eager to see how the story will end. Lacorus Recoil was a surprise hit of the 2022 summer anime season, offering a unique blend of action and character development. The anime's original story and characters made it stand out in a sea of adaptations, and its focus on a group of female assassins and spies brought a fresh perspective to the action genre. The dynamic between Chizato and Takina was a driving force of the series, as they both navigated their complicated roles in the Lacorus Agency and formed a bond through their shared experiences. The action scenes were expertly choreographed choreographed and visually stunning, adding to the show's appeal. Overall, Lycoris Recoil was a standout anime of 2022 and a testament to the potential of original anime productions. Its engaging characters, exciting action, and unique premise make it a must-watch for fans of the action genre.
If you're looking for a must-see anime series, then Chainsaw Man is the one for you. Adapted from Tatsuki Fujimoto's shining manga and brought to life by trendy studio MAPPA, this dark fantasy promises to be an unforgettable experience. The protagonist, Denji, can transform into the Chainsaw Devil and fights against various devils with the public safety devil hunters. Chainsaw Man was the most hyped anime of 2022, but it lived up to expectations with its gory, unpredictable, and unforgettable characters that go against the archetypes of the fighting genre. The anime series takes a quieter tone, giving an opportunity to watch the daily lives of the characters, while also delivering action-packed scenes of Denji's chainsaws shredding his enemies. With such strong source material, Chainsaw Man is sure to make a big, bloody splash on your favorite lists. Boki the Rock is a must-see anime based on Aki Hamaji's ongoing manga series from Manga Time Kirara Max, launched in 2017. The anime, produced by Cloverworks, centers on Hitori Boki Gotu, a socially anxious girl who dreams of being in a band. Despite her online fame, Hitori struggles with interpersonal communication, but when she gets the chance to perform with a band that lacks a guitarist, her life changes forever. Boki the Rock explores Hitori's attempts to step out of her comfort zone and the surreal fantasies she experiences along the way. Although music brings the girl together, the anime spends most of its time exploring the characters' personalities offstage. It is a coming-of-age comedy that follows Hitori's journey to become the person she wants to be, with all of her failures and triumphs making her story all the more relatable. One standout series that's captivated audiences around the world is Spy X Family. Adapted from a popular manga series that began serializing in 2019, this comedy anime centers on a fake family to carry out a top-secret mission. The main character, Lloyd Forger, is a skilled spy tasked with preventing a political leader from sabotaging peace relations between two neighboring countries. To do this, he must infiltrate an elite school and get close to the target's son. However, he needs a cover, so he recruits a fake family consisting of Yor, a master assassin, and on a psychic girl with the ability to read minds. Together they form the Forgers, a family built on a foundation of lies. One of the highlights of the show is the unorthodox dynamic between the three characters, which leads to constant laugh-out-loud moments. Anya, in particular, steals the show with her hilarious antics and earnestness. While the story is episodic at times, it deepens the connection between the Forgers and sets up an exciting potential for a new season. In 2022, Bleach makes its highly anticipated return to the small screen after a decade with the adaptation of its final arc, The Thousand Year Blood War. The anime series follows the story of former enemies, the Quincy, as they return to wage war on the Soul Society by stealing their greatest weapons, the Bankai. It's up to part-time Soul Reaper Ichigo Kurosaki to save his friends and defeat the Quincy. The anime has received high praise for its stunning animation and creative fight sequences, making it one of the best action-packed anime shows of the year. However, newcomers may find it difficult to follow the plot as the new season picks up from the first 366 episodes of the original anime series, which ended in 2012. Still, now is the perfect time to catch up on Bleach if you haven't already, as the production and story quality have never been better. The Thousand Year Blood War marks the climax of the original manga story, and Piero's Fall 2022 anime adaptation does not disappoint. From the visually flawless battles to the emotional character moments, Thousand Year Blood War is a must-see for anime fans looking for epic action and an unforgettable forgettable story. My Dress Up Darling is a hot new romantic comedy anime that's gaining popularity this winter. Adapted from a manga series that has been running since 2018, the anime tells the story of two high school students with unusual hobbies. Wakana Gojo is passionate about making traditional Japanese Haina dolls, while Marin Kitagawa loves anime, gaming, and cosplay. When Marin asks Wakana for help with her cosplay, the two become an unlikely duo. Marin's bubbly personality and love of cosplay complement Wakana's reserved and determined attitude, making for a refreshing relationship that breaks away from the typical tropes found in many romantic comedies. While the show has a fair amount of fan service that may make some viewers uncomfortable, the unique story and characters make it worth considering. My Dress Up Darling's animation is also top-notch, with detailed character designs and vibrant colors that bring the story to life. Ranking of Kings aired in October last year and has become a hot topic among children and adults alike. The story revolves around Boji, the first prince of the Bosa Kingdom, who despite being looked down upon by everyone, dreams of becoming the next king. His unique character and kind heart make him one of the most compelling protagonists on screen. The series is set in a fantasy world where monarchs are judged by their deeds and strength. Boji, who is physically weak, may not fit the traditional mold of a leader, but he makes up for it with his heart. In the first episode, he shows his kindness by helping someone in need. Ranking of Kings takes even the most mundane moments and gives them a sense of grandeur that makes the fantasy land feel all the more magical. 
Kaguya-sama, Love is War, is the highly anticipated third season of the popular romance anime based on the manga by A.K. Akasaka. This season, which premieres in the spring of 2022, follows student council president and vice president Kaguya and Miyuki, who both refuse to confess their feelings to each other and try to get the other to confess their love before their high school days come to an end. The supporting cast, including characters like Fujiwara, Ishigami, and Miko, add to the hilarity and heart of the series. Kaguya-sama continues to outdo itself in sheer secondhand embarrassment, turning cringeworthy moments into deeply heartfelt ones. Ultra Romantic is nearly flawless, and the animation by A1 Pictures is among the best. The storylines of the supporting characters are just as memorable as those of the leads, and the season ends with a satisfying finale that sets up the upcoming Kaguya-sama Love is War movie. Made in Abyss is a unique anime that stands out for its dark fantasy world and willingness to explore uncomfortable themes. While it may not be for everyone, the show's world-building and characters are well-crafted, making it a special experience for those who can appreciate it. The second season, titled The Golden City of the Scorching Sun, continues the adventure of Rico and Reg as they delve deeper into the abyss and encounter new challenges and characters, including the hollow Nanachi. However, viewers should be prepared for the show's intense and graphic content. Overlord, a popular anime series adapted from a light novel published in 2012, is one of the most popular isekai anime genres. The latest fourth season, which began airing in July 2022, follows Momonga, the player of a VR MMORPG who is sent to another world similar to the virtual game setting. In season four, Ainz now has his own country and is seen consolidating his rule, with his subordinates handling diplomatic matters. The series focuses on Ainz's leadership, world building, and waifu management skills. The change in tone may not appeal to all fans, but for those who find the new nuances of war fascinating, the series is ultimately better for it. The season is well-crafted and engaging, offering viewers a refreshing look at the art of leadership. Even those who did not enjoy the previous season will find Overlord 4 an improvement, as it is more engaging and entertaining. Dr. Stone Special is a unique and entertaining anime that combines science, adventure, and survival in a post-apocalyptic world. The show stands out for its premise, which focuses on rebuilding civilization from the ground up using the power of science. The character development is also impressive, with a diverse cast of characters who all play important roles in the story. Dr. Stone Ryusui is a great addition to the franchise, giving fans a chance to delve deeper into the world and get to know one of the supporting characters better. It is also a great way to bridge the gap between the second and and third seasons of the series. The Orbital Children is a rare six-episode anime series that tells the story of five young heroes who try to survive a disaster while navigating through a space station. With its crisp animation style, colorful world, and cute characters, the series was released on Netflix in January 2022 and received great reviews from viewers. The series was created by Mitsuo Iso, an experienced animator known for his work on classic anime. The Orbital Children is his first new story in over 15 years, so it was well worth the wait. Set in 2045, the story follows a group of children who embark on a sponsored visit to meet the last surviving child born in space. However, things take a turn for the worse when an unexpected comet hits the space station, leaving the children stranded. The orbital children then follows their journey to stay alive, using their surroundings to survive. Despite the dire situation, the story remains entertaining as the children discover new ways to operate their space equipment, and viewers quickly become attached to the characters. Mob Psycho 100 Produced by Bone Studios, the supernatural comedy anime follows the exciting adolescence of protagonist and his experiences with love and friendship. This season, however, takes a different approach, trading big battles for a slower, more poignant premiere as Mob grapples with an identity crisis. Despite the change in pace, the premiere is just as emotional, hilarious, and beautifully animated as ever. As this appears to be the final season, fans can expect the series to tie up loose ends and end on a high note. Now, the show returns to its roots focusing on the basics and reminding us why we fell in love with it in the first place. With the same quality of animation and storytelling that fans have come to expect, Mob Psycho Season 3 promises to be a great conclusion to an exceptional anime series. The hottest anime genre right now seems to be psychological thrillers that revolve around terrifying games, and Tomodachi Game is a prime example of this trend. This anime series is based on a manga that has been serialized in Besetsu Shonen Magazine since 2013. The story revolves around Yuichi Katagiri, a high school student who values friendship over profit. When the school trip funds are stolen, he and his four classmates are kidnapped and invited to participate in the Tomodachi Game, a game that reveals their true characters. Tomodachi Game is an exciting and crazy 
anime that is dedicated to one thing, entertainment. The show's setup and presentation is reminiscent of the hit series Squid Game, as both shows feature characters trying to expose and break the game by snooping around the organization behind it. However, Tomodachi Game first being released in 2013. If you enjoy psychological thrillers with a focus on gaming and mind-bending plot twists, then Tomodachi Game is definitely worth checking out. A Cyberpunk Edge Runners is an original anime set in the same universe as the popular video game Cyberpunk 2077. Directed by Hiroyuki Imaishi and produced by CD Projekt Red and Studio Trigger, the series follows the story of David Martinez, a young street kid who aspires to become a legendary edge runner, a dangerous and deadly job in Night City. Despite its scattershot storyline, the series features exceptional world building and character development, focusing on David's growth and his relationship with Lucy. Edge Runners requires no prior knowledge of the cyberpunk universe and serves as a fantastic gateway to the world. The anime is action-packed, features a fantastic soundtrack, and expands the world of Night City in a way that the video game never quite managed. With its fast-paced action, memorable characters, and clever callbacks to the cyberpunk 2077 universe, Edge Runner stands out as one of the best original anime of 2022. Trigger's visual prowess is on full display, making the anime not only one of the best of the year, but one of the studio's finest. Summertime Rendering is a mystery anime series produced by Oom. The story follows Shinpei Ajiro as he returns to his home island for the funeral of his childhood friend. However, he soon discovers a dark secret lurking on the island and finds himself caught in a time loop while trying to solve the mystery. The anime is known for its suspenseful and engaging pilot episode and its clever use of the time loop structure. Although the series is primarily plot-driven, it also features a cast of memorable characters. Shinpei, the protagonist, is a relatable and endearing lead who is realistic and intelligent, yet flawed. The supporting characters, including Ushio, Mio, and Hizuru, all contribute unique perspectives and add depth to the overall story. With its well-crafted mystery and engaging characters, summertime rendering has become a popular anime among fans of the genre. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts on my choices. Have a suggestion for a title that didn't make my list? Let me know in the comments and I'll consider it for my next video and see you in the next issue. Bye.